The level of realism in this model is going to blow your mind. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? We had a fantastic live stream yesterday. If you missed it, join me next time or you can rewatch it here. You showed me your art. We talked about AI. We talked about different AI models. And this video is a result of this live stream. And the realism in this model is just it's for the irrealism connoisseur. Let's get started. So the model is called Epic Realism, which is perfectly what that is. You can download it from Civit AI. Here here is the download button on the side. It is a little bit of a change in the UI. So you have to click on this icon here to download this into your models folder, of course, and in there into the stable diffusion folder. And this is the amazing image that I've created with that. So we're going to look at that in more detail. One thing that is also very good is this kind of very nice dynamic posing. When we scroll in, you can see the very nice details also here on the shirt, how it is bending around the body and how you have a very natural light and very natural nice shadows around that also the fabric and here the structure of the legs the structure of the hands is also very nice and all of that light is very natural this is no studio light it is more this kind of snapshot everyday kind of light and also the situation feels very real and very authentic here we have a different image of a woman standing in a very nice dress in the park. Again, everything here, the colors, the light, the shadows, even the dirt on the ground makes it very realistic and authentic. So this is not so much kindled towards the fashion photo or the perfect studio photo. This is more about how you would, for example, take a photo with your phone. Of course, this can also create other characters, not just modern women. So for example, here we have an image of a Viking woman. I have created mostly women in these images, but of course you can also create men. And here we have another example of a punk woman. Very nice again with the hair color, very nice with the natural light. Everything feels like an everyday snapshot. And here we have a woman in a metal armor. Also the metal looks very good. And this is kind of a little bit sci-fi inspired also. This is why we have this kind of brutalist architecture in the background. Now, I also want to point out that this model is very good at creating images with very little or no clothing. However, we are going to focus on something completely different in that image, and that is the texture of the skin. Now, one thing this is doing very good is to have these little shadows on the skin that gives the texture so that the light is coming a little bit from the side. But another very important thing here are these little imperfections here on the skin as well as very fine hairs on the skin a little bit of oiliness on the skin all of that is very natural and very fine wrinkles or even deeper wrinkles if you have an older person in here all of that adds to how natural it feels how authentic it feels and how real the image feels because skin texture is a very difficult thing for ai to achieve and this model does it really really well what is really important here and I can't stress that enough is to look down here in that information. And especially what I want to stress here is the sampler you're using, which should be a DPM sampler. I will show you in a second inside of Automatic 1111. But more important than that, you want to use the high res upscale of 4X MKD super scale. I will provide you a download link right here. You want to download that into your automatic 1111 folder in there into the models folder and enter into the ESRGEN folder. Once you have saved this in here, you have to start or restart automatic 1111 so that this model here is actually loaded. Also down here, you can see that this is suggesting some other extensions that might be useful like After Detailer, Control Net, Agent Scheduler and Ultimate SD Upscale. So you might try to use them. I will link the videos that I have about them. So of course, as always, I suggest to you to look up the images on Civit AI and look on the right side for the information for the prompt for the negative prompt the sampling method which is really important here so it is DPM plus plus 2M SDE Keras this works really good with that model the CFG scale here is pretty low I would say 5 is good but the lower the CFG scale the more realism is coming into the image although this 2 seems a little bit very low then steps only 20 which is 
fantastic. And this is a 1.5 model. So you can know that this is going to render fast even on older GPUs, even with the upscaling. And then, of course, there's a seed here that you can use to create this specific image here. And you want to experiment around with the settings until you get really this nice detail of skin. Now, a very important part here is not not to use face fixing only high res fix because the face restore is going to destroy the nice texture of the skin. So with that information, we're heading right over to automatic 1111. As you can see here, I have the model loaded up here. I have my clip skip on one. I have my VAE on automatic. If you don't have these sliders up here, they are already on one and automatic. And then you write here a very simple prompt. And this can be in very natural language. A short prompt is good. So that is very nice with this model. You don't need any specific keywords like raw or the name of the camera or masterpiece or highly detailed. None of that is necessary because the model is already trained to create images like that. And then down here, even for the negative prompt, you don't need a ton of negative embeddings or a long list of negative prompts because this model is trained very well to give you very nice photographic results. Down here, as you can see for the settings, we have DPM++ 2M Keras. I have my sampling steps at 20. I have here my high res fix turned on with the upscaler turned to 4X NMKD, as I told you before. And then I have my denoise strength here on 0.25, but you can also try a higher value. The upscale is set to two. And then I'm using the same checkpoint and the same sampler as I'm using for the low resolution image. Image. In this case, I'm using a resolution of 512 by 768. Of course, with the high res upscale, this is going to be doubled. And then I'm using here a CFG scale of 5. Other than that, I have everything down here turned off. I'm not using a detailer. I'm not using control net or anything else like that. Now, on top of that, there is also a LoRa you can download. It's called Epic Realism Helper. And this can help you to get the images even more realistic, nicer light, nicer details. And you can also combine that with other models. This, of course, is going to be downloaded into the LoRa folder inside of Automatic 1111. And then, of course, in the interface, you simply go to the LoRa tab. And you click here on the LoRa for it to be added to your positive prompt. And in there, you can give a value of the weight of the LoRa. So here I have a great example for you with different weights of the LoRa. You see the weight on the top and you see how this is changing the image with the rising weight of the LoRa. Now, in this case, you don't see too much difference in it because this is already using the Epic Realism model. To give you a comparison, this is using the LoRa on the Realistic Vision 5.1 model. You can see how much the LoRa is helping the skin to have more detail and to introduce these fine imperfections on the skin, these tiny hair, a little bit of oiliness in there and so on to give it a lot more realism. I want to show you a direct comparison on how different these two models look. So on the left side, we have realistic vision. On the right side, we have epic realism. And you can directly see how epic realism is more focused on authenticity and having this kind of natural light and natural pose, while realistic vision is much more focused on having this kind of very nice professional style of photography that has more the kind of magazine style to that. Links for the models, lures and other videos are provided below that video in the information. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. See you soon, hopefully also in my next live stream. Bye.